How's it going everyone? This is Medcat here and today we're going to go over a few quick tips and tricks to figure out the sign conventions for mirrors instead of lenses this time. So first things first, whenever we're looking at something in a mirror, it should be intuitive that we want to take a look at something in front of the mirror. We don't put an object behind the mirror and then try to see it with the mirror, so that's kind of intuitive. Generally speaking then, an object in front of the mirror where we're seeing it is going to have a positive sign. There are some very rare circumstances when we would have an object behind a mirror, but that's usually only when we're taking a look at something like multiple mirrors, let's say in a telescope, where one mirror becomes kind of the point of reference for the next one. You can see how the object might actually have a negative sign there, but we don't really need to know too much about that for the MCAT. Okay? So most of the time we can almost always assume that object will be positive and it will be in front of the mirror if that's not specified. Okay. Next thing we want to know, it has to do with the converging and diverging nature of these different mirrors that we've shown here. So light will come from some different source, reflect off of the object, and maybe come here and then kind of converge back on some sort of central point here. Okay. Whereas in a diverging mirror, light reflects off of the object and will diverge away from whatever point we're looking at here. Okay. And that's what makes a concave lens, that's sort of cave-like in relation to us, different from a convex lens, which is more kind of like a hill with respect to us. It bends light in different directions. Okay. There are two values associated with this that we can quantify. And they each have to do with the extrapolation of each of these mirrors as circles. Okay. Our first one is our radius of curvature. And by definition, this is going to be positive for anything that's converging. That goes for lenses as well. So this will be positive here and negative for anything that's diverging. So negative here. Okay. Further, if we solve our equation down here and we cross multiply the 2 over r and the 1 over f, we'll see that 2f equals 1r. Therefore, f equals r divided by 2, telling us that f will just simply be half of whatever r is, and it retains its sign. So it's going to be negative diverging, positive converging. And then finally, our last sign convention that we'll take a look at will be our image. Our image, if it's where we expect it to be, would be on the same side of the mirror as the object. It would be positive, forming what we call a real image. Now, if it's on the other side where maybe we wouldn't expect our image to be, whoops, it is going to be negative or a virtual image. This is actually the case for plain mirrors or mirrors that are flat, such as a normal bathroom mirror. You're actually seeing a virtual image of yourself, and we'll go over that in a later video. But that's all there is to know about sign conventions for mirrors. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.